Luther back at it again with another one and we are looking at the Nasdaq. So from the update we put out yesterday, it was looking at the AM session. So we didn't really look or really at the time when I finished recording. We didn't get the reversal that we got. It was a hell of a reversal. Look at that. Look at that. We were trading down towards here. We are hitting that liquidity pool. And then price had a young boing. That's attributable to the record earnings from NVIDIA. Uh, NVIDIA really has the economy on its back at this point. Because this is ridiculous. Crazy. Crazy. Like almost a 4% increase. And uh, this is delayed data, by the way. You know, it's delayed data. But that being said, we are going to take a look at today's price action in the NASDAQ. See what's going on. See what price offered us. See if we got any potential entries and such. And we'll take it from there. I'm just going to start out by marking out that liquidity over here. I'm going to make that a bit bold. But now I'll make it a 3. Um, we are well on our way up there, well on our way, but we're just going to focus on this. You can see there's a gap there. This turns into an inversion fair value gap as price makes its way to the upside. I'm going to switch over to the one inch time frame. Looking at the one inch time frame, I just want to hit a vertical line. Today is Thursday, right? Yes, the 22nd, Thursday, the 22nd, just the vertical line. Whoops, not that. Um... Midnight, control V, control V, okay, is it not control V, could have sworn it's control V, just going to put that in line over there, just so that we can see how price reacted, just started pushing up, you know, the price action that I'm interested in is this here, that consolidation, I'm just going to switch over to the M15, so that we can take a closer look at it so you can see yesterday just quick recap from the nvidia earnings there when i finished recording it was around about half past two or so so then towards the end of the day we got a spike to the downside got a past three filling out that you know we just got a sudden you know come back hit there and price was on its way if we entered over here it's about uh, i can't see 115 it's, it's it's healthy it's healthy but you know 300 point movement ridiculous ridiculous i was not involved in that but just waking up the next day to see that was was quite <laughs> was quite startling but anyway we're just going to take a look here at the price action around that 4 hour fair value gap that we just looked at so you see we formed a base there shut up started distributing already i can just see um took that out just gonna mark that sell side liquidity okay i could just already see that being taken out it's a bit more there there's also a, a gap here as you can see i'm just gonna go over to the five minute five minutes is usually the one that i use for entries if i'm looking at indices i'll be looking for five minute fair value gaps to go long in i wouldn't mind taking a 15 minute one as well i wouldn't mind an hourly one as well i wouldn't mind a four hourly one as well So, as you can see here, nice power of three. That's what I'm seeing already. Beautiful power of three. Um, our New York kill zone starts, I think, about seven. Yeah, price fell, whatever. As you can see, we had consolidation. And then we took out the liquidity. Shut up. Um, broke structure. Shot up. We opened up a fair value gap at the low 
of that um, 4H fair value gap. As you can see there, that area there, see how price respects that quite nicely with the order block as well. Very high probability entry. This happened at about 950, 910. That would be our silver bullet. Our silver bullet model is the entry between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. Once our lower time frame is in line with the direction of the higher time frame. In this particular case, we had that pool of liquidity over there that we just struck through. And now it looks like we're headed towards this higher one there as well. So, as you can see here. shot up tapped into that um this would be the first target so if we're entering like say here technically at 10 we take that out it offered us another entry in the same fair value gap here and that's another target there we go take it out it's if we're being on the conservative side and then more consolidation fair value gap there's another one here but in this instance this is the one we hit hit that the candles should tell you or give you an idea that hey we're probably finding support here and then we reverse back over here's another not really didn't hit he hit hit this one here though you know i'm when i first learned about fair valley gaps it was so funny because it had always been in my face this whole time and it really was the understanding or the discovery or being made aware of fair value gaps that really changed my trading for the better. So I'm still growing every day, of course, but I must just say it's made all the difference. All the difference that the kill zones, um, having time in mind when I make my entries, taking a look at the commitment of traders report and all the various things and small tools that I use. Um, man it's exciting 2024 is that year you know but the next one would have been around 12 ish or whatever 11 um not really an ideal entry but here at quarter to 11 10 to 11 you know those would be nice entries and as you can see price has just been spooling up we've just been spooling up you know i wish i was on my computer to take this trade but i wasn't i was in transit traveling so i missed it i was traveling from work back to the place the posy and it is what it is but that's the silver trade i mean the silver bullet trade of today um that was the am session the pm session is currently underway we'll see how it goes but from what i can see we are going for that higher pool of liquidity right about there right about there wish i was a participant in this move but it's all good i'm um, just paper watching it i'm happy to, with the discipline that i'm gaining because usually i just be like fuck it i'd yolo in and just force trades but now i'm i'm being meticulous with it and after those two w's in the euro and the gbp i think i can call it a week i think i can call it a week i'm in no rush to to enter position tomorrow um and i love that for myself i'll see you next week i'll put up something soon with the economic calendar so we can see how our week is looking next week and our planning and stuff but that's that on that um yeah another day looking forward to um you know growing as a trader other than that i'm gonna call it a day more content on the way and uh yeah thank god for the skill